don't believe he will receive any citations for this incident. So now we're jumping over to reporter John Travenstead, who's live in Odessa with the latest on the flooding there. Now, John, I understand that even you had to be rescued. Macy, that's right. I got caught in some high water on JBS and Maple. Luckily, I was able to push my way out of it. And another place I got a lot of water is here at the YMCA duck pond. And this may look like mud behind me, but as you can see, it's all water. And it wasn't just here at the duck pond and myself who got trapped in the flooding. It was all over Odessa. Early this morning on 8th near Muskingum, a red pickup truck stranded in the water. Some drivers taking that turn around don't drown, others risking the fast moving current. For a time, the water was over the curb and into the parking lot. Further out west on the I-20 service road, Thomas Andrade got his car stuck on the way to work. Um, well, GPSs don't know that uh, there's going to be water logged, <laughs> little areas. So pretty much I was just driving and uh, I got stuck. Andrade says he did not realize the water was as deep as it is. Halfway through it, I saw that the water was already being pushed over the hood. He says from now on, he's not going to try to pass through water and wants people to do the same. Now remember, it only takes a little bit of water to flood out your engine or sweep your car away. Odessa Fire and Rescue and Odessa Police responded to over 30 high water rescues today. In Odessa, John Travenstead, CBS 7 News.